Hey, my friends, Barry Burns here with Top Dog Trading, and today I'm going to show you an RSI indicator trading strategy. Uh, well, we'll see if we get to the positive part of it. I'm going to show you what not to do first, and this is the reason that a lot of you are losing money. So let's stop that right now and show you why it doesn't work. A lot of what you've been taught is bull, and I'm going to show you why that is and how not to keep making those same mistakes again. So let's plug the hole here of the money flow out of your accounts, and then let's show you how to put it in. So this is the... Uh, topic for today. With the RSI, by the way, this also applies to any what we call bounded indicators, whether they're stochastics or whatever. They talk about the indicator getting oversold or overbought. So with the RSI, this is the RSI here, uh, 40, 14 period, normally they will put the uh, levels at 30 and 70 for overbought and oversold. Now, oversold being 30, of course. So we'll look at oversold first. So we have it oversold here, and I hate that term oversold. Now I know that is used by technicians all the time, so I know that's the classic term, but I personally still don't like it because the students that I work with, I find that when they hear that term oversold, it implants in their mind an expectation that the market can't go down any further. That's the practical um, thought put into their mind, the suggestion, and that's the problem with using that term. So I don't like using that term because if it's oversold, it sounds like, well, then the market can't go down anymore and it has to go up. Well, here's the problem with that. Any bounded indicator like uh, RSI or stochastic, uh, these indicators especially um, can only go from zero to 100. Other bounded indicators have other parameters. but. The problem, therefore, is once it gets down to zero, or even not, for it to get down to zero, it's got to be a really, really uh, bearish move. And, and so it's really going to get down that far. But once it gets down even to that zone or that area, um, it is very unlikely that it's going to go any further. And if it goes to zero, then it mathematically can't go any further. But the market still can go lower. In fact, here's the crazy thing. You would think, oh, this is a bullish sign because it is oversold. No, that's actually a bearish sign. That is a sign of strength to the downside. For the indicator, for the market actually, to push the indicator down that far means the market is very, very bearish. That's actually a better sell signal than a buy signal. So it's exactly the opposite of how you may have been taught. Okay, I'm not saying everybody teaches it that way, but I find that a lot of people do. A lot of people take that as a bullish signal. No, that's a bearish signal because that's showing their strength to the downside. Now, as you can see here, it comes here for price, and then price ends up making a lower low after that. So then there's some people who will say, oh, well, yes, that's true. So what you want to do is wait for a divergence. So we wait for the higher low on the RSI and wait for that. Sometimes they'll even say, wait for the higher low to be above 30 and you get a lower low in price and you take that. Again, not a great signal. Why not? It does show a shift of momentum, that's true. But the problem is that it's a short-term signal. And momentum is kind of a tricky thing. Just because momentum is, or the signal of momentum is going up, doesn't mean it's real strong bullish. It just means the bearishness has come out. So momentum could actually just, or the market could just start going sideways. Now, in this case, the market does go up a little bit, goes back up to the 50 MA, which is the red line there. But that's not really a major big trade. And what happens after that is the market comes down and makes a much lower low. And again, RSI gets supposedly oversold. So the point is this, what you'd rather do, so I will get into a little bit of what you want to do. You want to do the exact opposite of that. You don't want to be just buying oversold signals all the time. You want to take those as uh, bearish and trade in the dominant energy or the dominant direction of the market. Why? Because that's where your big reward is. Why would, you know, if you shorted, well, somewhere up here and you got out somewhere down here, you're making big money, little risk, big reward. 
that's where the big money is. That's where the odds are, too. That's where your better win-loss ratio is, and that's where your better risk-reward ratio is. This kind of stuff, you're always trading. See, if you trade that, you're trading against the dominant energy. If you took this, that little divergence thing there, you're trading against the dominant energy. So your winners are small, and they're also less likely. I mean, that's just a puny win. If it would even be a win, that's more like a scratch trade or a loss. So why keep trading against the dominant direction of the market? That's the point of this lesson today. In fact, let's take a little look and see how further it went. There you go. So <laughs> it just keeps going, see? So now we got, this is our first signal that we looked at here. This was our first divergence we looked at here. And look how much further it still went down. Here we got another supposed oversold signal. So what if you bought that? Oh, uh, not so good. Not much money to be made there. There's another divergence, right? Well, that would have been your profit. Really? No. These are uh, signals of strength to the downside. You could have been short this whole time and made some real money and just held it. So that is the point. And that is why, for some of you, it may seem like you're always on the wrong side of the trade, that everything always goes against you. If you're doing this type of trading, then that's the reason why. So if you like this video and it's helped you out a little bit, giving you some new insights, uh, please share it with other people. You have an obligation to share it forward. In addition, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the thumbs up icon below. Leave a comment because I love your comments. Even if you disagree with me, I like to hear when people disagree with me. And I know this, this will probably be another controversial one. I've been in, doing some controversial videos lately. I'm giving away my favorite trade strategy called the rubber band trade. It has a very high win-loss ratio. It's a simple strategy. You can learn it in about 26 minutes. And I'll give you that video explaining the trade strategy for free. Just click on the image in the top left corner. Or if you're on a mobile device, click on the little eye with a circle around it in the top right corner of this video. And if you're not watching this on YouTube, then there's probably a link below or an opt-in form on this side. Once you do that, I'll personally email the video to you with the rubber band trade strategy.